I grew up in Derry, Northern Ireland. I've always liked drawing, but I like the idea of modelling and sort of making things and then seeing them come to life. It's always fascinated by landscape and getting out in the fields, getting out, having like sort of peace, like peace and quiet, walking through cliffs, walking around the beaches. As, as you evolve on, you start looking at the texture and the colour. I treat the surface similar to the way a painter would treat his canvas. The whole time you're building up almost like a layer of paint, but you're not using glazes, but firing it each time. So I, I love that whole exciting sort of bit that you, sometimes you don't know what's going to happen until you get it out. And then physically you've made something which is there, a man's space. I come up with those ramses, it's everything I make as a vessel, and I like that concept, but having a fine art concept. So you're, you're taking bits that you find, like the texture of the rocks, the colours, when you look at it, it will provoke the onlooker, reminds him of a certain time and space maybe, and a certain feeling for a, a certain place. I photograph things and then print them and then cut up the photograph, almost come up with a collage of the form because there's something in there. It could have been like, for example, like a Coke can squeezed in between two bits of rocks and I like the circularness of it set against a natural form. I like throwing clay, so what I do is I, I incorporate a throwing element into all my work. I like, I like the concept of working on the wheel but only as a tool to produce the final outcomes. My work is big and suddenly being given the space, the three, six by six, with six centimetres depth, was challenging enough. So I had to literally rethink my whole concept. Traditional form, and easily recognisable. The mark, the surface, works on a large scale, and suddenly having to reduce the scale down can affect the whole form. So I ended up having, instead of using my hands, I ended up having to use tools as hands. Because like the, just for like even the throwing rings, making them so small that my fingers were too big. So I had to sort of rethink the whole concept of making, rethink the whole concept of form, rethink the whole concept of, of design. As ceramicists, to quote Eric James Mellon, we just make cocoons and then we put our cocoons into the kiln. When After the firing you open the door and you have to see what you've made, is that going to be a beautiful butterfly or a moth?